What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tour on the Chaos Craft fan server and today guys we are going to be checking out this awesome mansion that you can see right in front of me but guys if you want to come and check out this build for yourself maybe play survival creative factions or even mini games the ip is at the top of the screen and in the description is mc.chaoscraft.net but guys let me warn you this mansion is absolutely huge there is so much going on on the outside and on the inside um so bear with me with this one but if we go down here guys let me go and check out the size and see who actually built this it says uh planet minecraft that is their planet minecraft link you want to go check it out mansion by mail chips interior help by our armani um uh, flow hd is required furnished on the 10th of november 2015 started years ago <laughs> years ago all right let's get, fly around the outside and check the detail on this place now this is I, I wouldn't even know what style to call this this is just a unique style right here very very nice love the combination of blocks here i think that's like diorite and brick and quartz it's just a nice combination uh got a triple garage here at the back oh and this is the front of the house a triple garage here at the front of the house if we continue flying around here we've got tons of little balconies and stuff look at the backyard look at all the land here in the backyard i might as well just show you the backyard now guys because there's like there's nothing here but it's just so much land like everywhere i just like that i like that you don't have to fill your backyard with just so much stuff just leave it plain it still looks good and we've got like a little lawnmower here cutting the grass i think yeah like a little lawnmower that's awesome got some nice little areas out here if we continue going around to the back got some even more areas just look at all the detail and you can see all this stuff over here guys like a greenhouse and stuff and all these kind of things that we'll check out a little bit later on when we check out the back of the house and even at the front guys look at the front of the house right here got this nice little garden going on with loads of little fountains and some mazes and i think the entrance is over here like it wraps around here and this is actually the main entrance way right here so you go through all these trees right here and this will take us to like the garage area and we've got some cars parked here and then you can take your car into the garage so that's enough of the outside for now guys let's go inside and check this out because there is so much to check out so when we enter the house guys the first thing we notice is this nice entryway here i do like this it's a very unique design like the entrance is on the side of the house and then you turn in and then you got the all of the main of the house on your right hand side so that's pretty cool we've got some nice oh that's what is that never rack oh yeah using never rack as curtains that's pretty cool so we've got some units around here guys so we're going to start off on the left hand side over here so this right here is our first lounge area and pretty nice i like the i like the fireplace and the chairs and stuff like that i think it looks pretty good got a nice little glass cabinet right there and a nice grandfather clock nice fireplace if we go through here we have a second lounge area so lounge area meets onto a lounge area Oh, nice centerpiece there for the for the um, table. I do like that. It's a bigger lounge area here. Got some bigger couches and got some nice curtains. Very unique the design for the curtains. Just putting never rack like that. I've never seen that before. Um, and over here, we just have some cabinets with some custom details on it. And we have a keg. We have a keg right there. Where does this lead us? Oh, wow. This house is so confusing, guys. We're going to have to try and go for it as much as we can. So we go in here. We have a little kind of bar slash den area. So we have a nice little table here. We have a pool table right there. We have a bar over here as well. And we have some arcade machines right there. And a nice little glass cabinet slash trophy cabinet or something. Now, if we go in here, again, similar to the room before, kind of got like loads of little display cabinets going on and we've got a toilet over here not too much in this room and if we go in here this leads us on to the garage area where we have like a trailer and we have a nice little car there as well so if we head on back through here we can maybe check out these little corridors right here no no no. let's check out these rooms here so this is like a little winery here where you just store your wine you've got the keg at the bottom and i'm pretty sure this will lead us back to the staircase yes it will there's a door underneath the staircase what is this oh it just leads us to the other side so you can walk under the staircase okay so this is just like a little hallway area here so if we go down here it's a long hallway next to the staircase right there and this is where we have some more rooms um so that is the den area here so if we go around here we have another lounge area well not really a lounge area actually this is an office this is a nice little office we've got our desk there with our laptop on there we've got a little seating area our fireplaces and our bookshelves and some nice shelving all the way around nice little lamp design there using armor stands and uh glowstone i think that is 
So if we keep going through here guys, we have the grand dining room. This is very nice. I do like this room. I like the high ceilings with a nice big chandelier at the top. And we have this very nice dining table. Nice centerpiece right there again with the armor stands and the fence and the torch on top of it. We have a piano over here which looks awesome. I do like that design right there. And then on the sides we just have some uh, display cabinets with some custom heads and stuff just to add some extra detail. And then we also have a little kind of seating area next to the dining table right there if we follow this through here we have a nice little kitchen so very nice kitchen design right here using doors as the cupboards right there and we have a fridge design little table area maybe like a little breakfast area right there and a center island with some more display cabinets i don't think i've missed anything on this lower level because that brings us straight back around to the staircase so let's head upstairs now guys and check out the rest of this nice little center area right here very bold rug uh, nice way to fill up the floor though this leads us over to the dining room with that high ceiling so let's start where should we start i know that takes us through to the other side of the house so let's start around here and work our way around so this is our first bedroom that we come across nice little balcony with a nice view there nice big four poster bed with some details around the side with just some decorations is that armor stand yes armor stand on top uh, and then a beacon on top to make a little nice side lamp we've got some wardrobes over there very nice room indeed if we continue going on around here we have a bathroom so this is our first bathroom we've got a little toilet nice little bath very simple and if we continue going around to this side we have our second bedroom very similar to the bedroom we just saw slightly different bed design same lamps on the side you've got a little desk area right here got a nice little seating area next to your fireplace and then we've got a bigger desk area here so you could just chill and use your pc and then we've got a nice view of the backyard on this side now if we continue going down here we're going to meet uh, oh, so a little lounge area upstairs. So we've got a nice little lounge area with some seats and some fireplaces. And we've got another piano design in there and a custom head on. Oh, this is like a, I think it's like a polar bear rug. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Um, and if we continue going on now, this is going to be the second half of the house. So this is the first little area and this is the second half right here. Um, this is a similar lounge design to the one we saw downstairs. Same centerpiece right there. Same couch designs, just different colors. And we've got a little desk area over here in the the corner with some bookshelves and a nice little fireplace area right here if i go in here this is our third bedroom um, a simple design this one not a big four poster bed just kind of cut it off at the top got some display cabinets got some fireplaces and some little seating areas right here if we continue going on through here we have loads more room so let's go in this room right here first we have a very nice bathroom design i do like this got a nice shower up here i just like this whole continuous unit right there you know i think this may be like a little hot tub maybe and then we've got a bath there or oh, that might be a bath this might be a hot tub i'm not sure we've got a nice sink design with a mirror and a shelf and a nice little lighting feature around here and this takes us through to oh no that takes us all the way around okay there's there's like the towels where you're hanging up and stuff so that is a nice bathroom right there if we continue going through here oh this well this looks like the master bedroom to me so we've got this very nice big four poster bed for a nice lamp next to the bed little seating area just nice little knickknacks all around looking out the window got a nice little view um yeah very nice room the reason i say this is a master bedroom because we've got this nice little ensuite area right here where we've got a bath little sink and it kind of joins through on both entrances so that kind of makes it feel a bit more grand because you've got both entrances leading through right there and we've got a nice little cabinet over here if we continue going over here which is where we've already been i think i need to go over no i think that is it guys i think that is the upstairs done i thought there was more rooms than that so if i head back downstairs and we can go and have a look at this garden area over here now this is probably one of my favorite areas of the house i just think this looks absolutely awesome with like the greenhouse over there we've got this very nice fountain design guys look at this very unique never seen a fountain design like this where they've just used the slabs like you normally would with a fountain but then they've used armor stands in gray and stone on for the head and it just looks really nice with a, a hopper on top just to finish it off i really like that if we go over here we have a nice seating area outdoor seating area if you want to have any parties or anything like that and we've got a nice farming area so just in case you want to use this in survival or anything like that you've got a nice 
farming area right here nice little garden feature here as well and i really like this gazebo in the middle i think that looks very very nice with some nice little seating area right here because just chill get some shade right there now if we go over here we have the greenhouse now this is a very very nice greenhouse usually you see greenhouses they're very small but i think this one looks absolutely awesome if we jump down here we've got some nice plants going all the way around got some mushrooms got some uh, flowers over here got some rose bushes look very very cool as a greenhouse some nice ideas there some nice inspiration for you guys for a greenhouse and then we have a nice big custom tree with a bench there finishing it all off now guys i think that is all of this mansion sorry if you feel like i've rushed it a little bit it was so much to go through guys i didn't want the video to be like 30 minutes long but if you want to come and check this out for yourself the coordinates are right there on the screen so uh, make sure to come and check it out we are in staff town to create uh, the world but it still is creative you can get here by a walk i'll put the walk in the description but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another server tour we're just back and forth it's noisy it's noisy stuff but let me take off this right here and we're going to just make this thing look pretty so i want it to fit in with the theme of the of the build so pretty much we're just going to block all this off so you can't see it